Have you ever been caught watching your favorite anime? And you've had to quickly all tap to something less embarrassing. Or maybe you posted an anime picture to a website of culture and met this response. I personally tried to get rid of my virginity this week, but I was met with the impossible requirement of modern women. This got me thinking, what's wrong with anime, and is it morally wrong to watch anime? Well, to answer that, we have to go to the beginning. While some people do claim that in the beginning of humanity, anime was gifted to us by mysterious entities. And from there on, evolved with us until ancient civilizations. There is not enough scientific proof that the Library of Alexandria was filled to the brim with manga, which we then lost when it burned down. Modern anime as we know it was first theorized by Albert Einstein in the Prussian Academy in the early 1900s. Did you figure out your OC character? She's a girl who looks 12 but is actually 1000 years old. But it wasn't until the 60s when the Japanese mastered the formula. The Japanese government first intended to use anime as a tactical weapon to pussify their enemies, which it was more than capable of. But the formula got leaked by insiders and it didn't take long for it to spread across Japan and later on, the world. By the 90s, almost every household in the world had anime, completely changing the landscape of modern media. I couldn't really tell why, I couldn't tell what was happening, but we really went with the picture and remembered it, and it took years for us to see it again. But there's a sequence where he's just following the car, and it's just shot after shot, him driving. It's how he's composed in the center of the frame, how she's composed. It's the, it's the uh, serenity of the camera positions. Since anime was originally a military weapon, and it clearly affected the youth in a negative way, most politicians have been against it throughout history. I saw this thing called anime, and I said, these motherfuckers with their Chinese cartoons, we've got to build a firewall around Netflix, and they're going to pay for it, we're going to call it the Great Firewall of China. The United Nations even had a hearing against Japan during the release of Boku no Pico. But the Japanese were able to defend their position with the so-called femboy defense. As long as the balls don't touch, it's not gay. But just like the war on drugs, the war on anime has been a complete failure. These days we have animes of all kind. We have good anime, great anime, amazing anime, and Kino of the highest order. The consumption of these cartoons have reached such a high level that companies have resorted into human rights violations to acquire as much anime as they can. People marry anime, eat anime, and become anime. Right now, Chinese companies are hiring women and children in Africa to mine for the hottest anime content. These mines are where Mihoyo, for example, found Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> Companies in the West have tried to come up with humane methods of creating anime instead of using children to mine for it, such as using white people. But so far, those methods have been futile. People just want that pure crystallized anime too much. God damn right. With the current consumption and Indians getting into anime, soon there won't be enough shonen to go around for everyone. Which is why most developed countries are aiming to be anime neutral by the year 2050. Sure, there are big moral quandaries with anime consumption these days. I respect anyone who lives a anime-free lifestyle. But at the same time, I don't think there is anything morally wrong with watching anime. As long as you do like the Mexicans do, and share it with others.